hi all of you uh, i am sandeep dh so from this video i am going to solve uh, uh, previous years papers of uh, kset uh, questions and with solutions so first i will solve 2013 paper a uh, part 2 uh, so here in this video i am going to solve mathematical physics uh, part okay so let's see so this is the question number 1 in the question number 1 it is given the matrix 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 is only hermitian only unitary hermitian and unitary and fourth option is neither hermitian nor unitary see this is the question the question number 1 uh, in the paper the case set paper that is the matrix the given matrix is given in that matrix elements 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and um, minus 1 by root 2 whether we have to verify is the given matrix is or only hermitian or only unitary or hermitian and unitary or neither hermitian nor unitary that means it is not hermitian or not unitary okay so let us see so first we know that hermitian matrix means a is equal to a dagger a dagger means first we have to take a complex conjugate of the given elements of a and we have to transpose and unitary means a a dagger gives identity matrix i okay so let's see for example consider this is a matrix a a is equal to 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 and a dagger means see we know that a dagger means first we have to take a complex conjugate of a and we have to transpose so let's see a dagger is equal to let us take a complex conjugate of the matrix a so 1 by root 2 and uh, i imaginary part complex conjugate is minus i by root 2 and minus i by root 2 is plus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 and we have to take a transpose that means you have to change the rows and columns of the elements so then it will gives so 1 by root 2 and uh, so this trans uh, this uh, uh, column matrix is tends to row matrix so this is i by root 2 and this is minus i by root 2 and this is minus 1 by root 2 so we can see that here the matrix a is 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 the obtained matrix is same as the a matrix so that is 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 so a is equal to a dagger so a is equal to a dagger so the given matrix is hermitian so it is hermitian and the only hermitian so it is not possible to now it is not it is not easy to say that and only a unitary so this is not possible and neither hermitian nor unitary this is also not possible so but now we have to verify whether it is a unitary or not so for that unitary matrix means we know that the matrix multiplication a a dagger is equal to i so let us take a is this one and a dagger is also same this one and we have to square this so that means we have to take m 1 by root 2 i by root 2 minus i by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 so 
let us take a matrix multiplication one by root two into one by root two one by two i by root two into minus i by root two so i into i i square i square is minus one again here minus is there minus into minus plus so one by two plus one by two one and here one by root two i by root two and minus i by root two so it will be zero and if you take if you take a matrix multiplication it gives one zero zero one so which is identity matrix so we can easily say that a a dagger is equal to identity matrix i so therefore the given matrix is both hermitian and as well as unitary so option c is correct okay so hermitian matrix means we have to check a is equal whether a is equal to a dagger a dagger means first we have to interchange the rows into column or column into rows and we have to change the complex conjugate of the matrix otherwise first we have to change the complex conjugate of the matrix and again interchange the rows and to travel into a column so if a is equal to a dagger then it is hermitian and unitary means you have to take a matrix multiplication of a into a dagger so once again i am repeating if a a dagger is equal to i so then it is a unitary matrix so the the given matrix is both hermitian and as well as unitary okay so this is the question number 2 which is what is the product of eigen values of so the given matrix is the matrix elements is alpha 1 0 0 beta 1 and 0 0 gamma and this is the given options so here they ask you what is the product of eigen values so we have to first find out the eigen values of the given matrix and we have to take a product so then we have to verify whether in the given option it is there or not but for the to calculate eigen values we have so many methods first we have to take a character's root equation and we have to find but uh, here it's better to use the properties of a eigen values and eigen vectors we know that the properties of eigen values and eigen vectors eigen vectors says that if we add the given eigen values of the matrix which gives trace okay and if you take a product of the given eigen values which is the determinant of the matrix so here we have to go through the product uh, property number 2 so first we have to take a de determinant and uh, we have to multiply the given eigen values so let's see so the property number 1 is the sum of eigen values gives trace trace of the given matrix and the product the product of the eigen values gives determinant so determinant of the given matrix so let's uh, do the calculation so let us take a determinant of the given matrix so alpha is equal to beta into gamma 0 into 1 so beta gamma minus 1 into so 0 0 and uh, plus 0 into 0 so the determinant is alpha beta gamma and we know that the property number 2 says that the product of the eigen values is the determinant see and if we add the eigen values it gives the trace so the trace is alpha plus beta plus gamma if we add the eigen values which gives alpha plus beta plus gamma if we take a product of these elements it gives alpha beta gamma this is determinant so in the given options option number d is correct we can easily uh, verify that right so you are the trace of the matrix the trace is nothing but sum of the diagonal elements of the matrix so which is alpha plus beta plus gamma and the product of the determinant is not nothing but alpha beta gamma so obviously this is the eigen values these are the eigen values of the given matrix okay so this is the question number 
which is the given equation d square z by dx square minus 2x dz by dx plus 2 lambda z is equal to 0 is called Legendre's equation or Bezel's equation or Hermit equation or uh, Beltran's equation. So these are the differential equations. So we have to verify the given differential equation is whether uh, belongs to these differential equations. Okay. So in the special functions, there is a definite one or two questions uh, for this case set exams. Okay. Definitely they will ask verify whether this type of uh, equations or they will ask to calculate first few parameters of the legender or associate legender polynomials like that. So let's see. Uh, the legenders, the legender equation, the legender differential equation is of the form 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus 2x dy by dx plus l into l plus 1 into y is equal to 0. Okay. So this is the legender polynomial equation. We can easily verify this is the special function, the special symbol which is used in quantum mechanics. If there is L into L plus 1 in the coefficient of y, we can easily get this is a legendary polynomial. Next, and Bezel's equation. So here it is x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx, x into dy by dx and plus x square minus mu square of y is equal to 0. So there is a lot of difference for uh, legender, legender equations and Bezel's equation c. Here the d square y by dx coefficient is x square and here it is x and uh, in the y coefficient we can see again the variable x square, x square minus square. So if the equation is like, like this, so then we can easily say this is a Bezel's equation. Next and a Hermite equation. So let's see what is the form of Hermite differential equation. So that is d square y by dx square okay, minus 2x dy by dx plus lambda into y is equal to 0. See we can easily say that the given equation is in the form of d square y by dx square minus 2x dy by dx plus lambda into y. So we can easily say that the given equation is Hermite equation and this is also very useful in quantum mechanics so you should always remember this equation and uh, the another last uh, option is Belzer Belterman's equation so that is f of z is actually used in complex analysis f of z is equal to mu into f z so this is Belterman uh, differential equation uh, actually this is used in complex analysis okay so while going to uh, so while going for exams it's better to go through these equations next so this is the question number five okay so in the next video I will upload the question number four so let's go to the question number five this is Using Fourier series expansion of x square in the interval minus 5 to 5, actually in the k set questions they will given uh, minus 5 to 5, but this is not a, a limits, which is minus pi to pi plus pi. So, so this is the limits. Uh, the value of summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square is. So actually in the case set uh, questions, Laplace equation, there is a question from La Fourier series and Fourier transformation and Laplace transformation. If you cover these three topics, definitely you can get uh, 6 to 8 marks. Okay. So let's see, we know that the Fourier series expansion equation is f of x is equal to a naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. 
okay so let's uh, first i will cal calculate a not a not is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus pi to pi f of x dx so which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus pi to pi the f of x given function is uh, this one so this x square is our f of x so x square into dx which is equal to 1 by 2 pi a differentiation of uh, sorry integration of x square gives x cube by 3 and let take a limit minus pi to pi okay so and this gives 1 by 2 pi into pi cube after substituting this upper limit and lower limit pi cube minus of minus pi cube 2 pi cube by 3 so 2 pi cube by 3 and this 2 2 cancel and pi and pi cube uh, so the remaining is pi square by 3 so our a naught is pi square by 3 next it's better to go to calculate a n you have to calculate a n and substitute here and you have to calculate b n and you have to substitute here and uh, you have to take a, a total equation and see next uh, a n is so this is a naught a n is 1 by pi into integration minus pi to pi f of x cos nx dx okay so which is equal to 1 by pi integration minus pi to pi f of x is nothing but x square into cos nx dx which is equal to 1 by pi into okay so it's better to solve here and 1 by pi into integration it, we have to take integration by parts so that is first we have to retain this x square here and integrate this cos nx integration of cos nx is sin nx sin nx divided by n and again we have to take alternative minus and plus so minus differentiation of this first term, first term so that is 2x and again integration of this term so that is integration of sin x is nothing but cos minus cos x so minus cos nx divided by n but one more n is there so we, but here we can write n square and again plus differentiation of 2x is nothing but 2 and here integration of cos nx integration of cos is nothing but sin but here it is minus sin is there so minus sin nx divided by n but one more here n square is there so it, it better write n cube okay so and let's apply minus pi to pi the limit next so so 1 by pi into x square so if you apply the limit minus pi to pi the sine function will be 0 anyway because sine any pi is 0 and the second term is cos so that is uh, here minus into minus plus plus 2x right so this term is 0 and it is 2x cos nx divided by n square into minus pi to pi and again the term the term term is sin so again the terms will give 0 because sin any pi is 0 and which is equal to 1 by pi into 2 into let us take 2 is a constant as a outside 2 into x is nothing but pi pi into cos n pi by n, n square and minus 
minus into minus plus pi into cos n pi divided by n square and cos pi cos n pi by n square pi cos n pi by n square is nothing but 2. So, 2 to the 4 by pi into cos n pi by n square. Since cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 power n. Since cos n pi is equal to minus 1 power n. So, therefore, a n is equal to 4 by pi into minus 1 power n. So, we have to substitute this a n here. So, therefore, a n is nothing but 4 by pi minus 1 power whole power n. And b n, next we have to calculate the b n. See, b n is nothing but 1 by pi into integration minus pi to pi f of x sin x and 1 by pi into integration minus pi to pi x square sin x into dx sin nx into dx but see so this is a even function and this is a odd function so the bn gives 0 the contribution of bn is 0 so now we have to substitute this a naught a n and b n to the given equation f of x here suppose consider this is a equation number 1 and uh, b n is equal to 0 we have to substitute all these a naught a n and b n so let us see so we know that the given function is f of x is equal to a naught plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity sorry 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. So, we know that a n is so f of x is equal to a naught a naught is nothing but pi square by 3 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n a n is nothing but 4 by pi minus 1 whole power n. So, I am writing here 4 by pi minus 1 whole power n into cos n x uh, cos n x. Uh, actually sorry here I forgot the right n square. So, this is 4 by pi by n square. In the denominator n square is there I forgot to write that. So, it is n square and next plus b n is 0 and the given function f of x, x is nothing but x square ok and put x is equal to pi if you take x is equal to pi it will become pi square. So, pi square is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 by pi uh, ok. So, one minute. So, actually here pi is not coming in the given function a n. So, we know that. So, this is 4 pi a n is equal to 4 pi divided by pi into minus 1 whole power n divided by n square. So, pi pi gets cancelled. So, here pi into minus 1 1 power minus 1 power n into cos n, n x divided by n square. So, if we expand this we will get see minus 1 power n minus 1 power n if n is equal to 1 it will again minus. So, minus cos put pi. So, cos pi divided by 1 square and again if n is equal to 2 it will plus cos 2 pi divided by 2 square plus cos minus because n cube. So, minus 1 cube is minus cos 3 pi divided by 3 square so on ok. So, after expanding this we will get pi square is equal to pi square by 3 plus 
4 into minus cos pi cos pi is minus 1 minus into minus 1 or minus into minus plus so 1 by 1 square plus cos 2 pi is 1 so therefore 1 by 2 square and cos 3 pi is minus 1 again minus into minus plus so 1 by 3 square so if we expand this we will get finally 1 by n square so therefore this term in the left side which gives so therefore pi square is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 into 1 by n square and therefore if you send this if you rearrange the equation above equation then will gives 3 pi square minus pi square by 3 which is equal to 4 by n square 3 pi square by 3 is nothing but 2 pi square by 3 2 pi square by 3 and if, it, if 4 comes here it will becomes 4 is equal to 1 by n square and 2 4 cancel and which is 1 by n square is equal to pi square by 6. So this is our uh, answer. So the expected answer is pi square by 6. So option number D is correct. In the given question option number D is question. Actually this question seems actually the 4 year series and 4 year transformation questions looks like a very lengthy but if we practice this it is very easy because uh, all the questions in the 4 year series and the 4 year transformation is in the same similar type questions. Either way they will, either they will give x square or they will give x or they will give some constant. If you remember the series f of x is equal to that a naught plus a n and cos n x sin n x. So definitely it is easy to remember but it seems it is look like a lengthy problem. So this is question number 6. The first property of the orthogonality relation for the Legendre polynomial is given by minus 1 to plus 1 pm of x into pn of x dx is equal to 0. So this condition is 0 when the given option is m is equal to n or m is equal to n is equal to 0 or m is not equal to n or m is equal to n is equal to 1. So it is a easy easy question. Whenever they will ask about the orthogonality you can just go through this condition so that is any function ok so the any function the limits for example minus 1 to plus 1 pm of x pn of x is equal to dou m n whatever may be this is phi m or phi n ok psi m psi n whatever may be the notations the given condition is is equal to 1 if m is equal to n and is equal to 0 if m is not equal to n ok so here the question is pm in pm of x into pn of x into dx is equal to 0 when see it is 0 when m is not equal to n so then this integral is equal to 0 so this is orthogonality condition ok is equal to 1 only if this is pn of x into pn of x or pm of x into pm of x that is limit minus 1 to 1 pm of x into pn of x into dx is equal to 1 otherwise pn of x into sorry pm of x into pm of x is equal to 1 otherwise pn of x into pn of x into dx is equal to 1. So this is the orthogonality condition ok so it is very easy question so option b is correct. So for the Poisson distribution the standard deviation sigma is related to the mean m. So here that is the relation for mean m and standard deviation. So that is always you should remember 
uh, okay sorry this is not a options see sigma is equal to root m or sigma square is equal to root m and uh, sigma plus m is equal to 0 and sigma is equal to m so we can easily guess by our option in the given option see sigma square is not obviously equal to root of m and sigma plus m is not equal to 0 and sigma is not equal to m sigma is equal to root m sigma square is equal to m in the poisson distribution the relation for mean and sigma and here sigma is equal to root m option a is correct and the, for this topic from this topic also at least two or three questions poisson distributions or probability distributions okay so every time they will ask questions are related to these topics so let's see question number eight so the question number eight is the value of k we have to calculate the value of k uh, for the function f of x is equal to e power minus kx and the function is varies from limit 0 to infinity so we have to calculate the probability of a distribution function the probability of a function from 0 to infinity okay so from this uh, in this region 0 to infinity for this function what is the value of k see so for the probability distributions we have an equation or formula 0 to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 and integration 0 to infinity f of x is nothing but e power minus kx dx is equal to 1 and we have a formula a general formula that is integration 0 to infinity e power minus ax dx is equal to 1 by a so therefore this equation gives 1 by a means k so 1 by k is equal to 1 so therefore k is equal to 1 is the answer so k is equal to 1 so option c is correct answer okay so these are the uh, mathematical part questions from 2013 paper uh, for a part a and in the next video i will upload i will calculate or i will discuss a part uh, 3 part part 3 questions and mathematical physics related okay so first i will solve uh, year wise year wise mathematical part questions and the next i will go through next part uh, like classical mechanics and uh, quantum mechanics electronics condensed matter physics see uh, for a case set they will ask for uh, uh, i think uh, 75 questions maybe 3 and 200 for 200 marks i think sorry 200 marks earlier it is for 300 marks so for each from each uh, to, uh, subject they will ask at least uh, 10 questions they will frame for 10, 10 questions and uh, each questions carry two marks it's better to cover all the topics with uh, it's better to it's better try to remember all the formulas and for case eight, uh, they will uh, they will frame a questions from a, a re, from a selected topics only we can go through from 2013 to 2020 paper they will as they will cover only for a selected topics from that selected topics you should remember all the top formulas or concept you should understand the concept then it's very easy to crack this case at exam okay